New Zealand's clean green image is a major asset for our tourism and export industries. Pictures of pristine fjords, forests and beaches might draw the tourists, but when it comes to our seafood exports, looking good isn't enough. To get noticed internationally, our products must be healthy, fresh and top quality. Dr Andrea Alfaro, AUT Senior Lecturer in Marine Ecology and Aquaculture, together with her postgraduate students, is working hard to improve the health and production of our commercially farmed shellfish, in particular our native green-lipped mussels and power. Well, New Zealand is particularly well placed in that we are surrounded by this amazing ocean that uh, is unobstructed. New Zealand has uh, the ability to produce a, a species that it's endemic to New Zealand. Our species looks amazingly well in the international market and therefore it sells very well. You can find New Zealand green lip mussels in the US, in China, in Japan, in South America. We also don't have any competitors for these species as, as yet because, like I said, it's only grown in New Zealand. So we have an advantage in the international market. For more than 12 years, Dr. Alfaro has been researching wild populations of green lip mussels at 90 Mile Beach. Recently, she's been investigating how the mussel larvae settle, why the juvenile mussels attach themselves to certain surfaces, and once there, what makes them stay. We have found a range of chemicals that uh, induce them and we have patented a couple of them already. Some of these particular chemicals we've found, at least in laboratory scenarios, can induce settlement by over 400 percent compared to controls, which is a huge advantage for the New Zealand mussel industry if we can actually increase the ability to capture the larvae by those kinds of numbers. Initial settlement is one thing, but getting the mussels to stay in the farms is crucial. While mussels adhere to ropes and other substrates, the bissel attachment is never permanent. Sometimes up to 100% of the mussels are lost. They just swim away from the ropes. The farmer comes back the next day and there are no mussels in his farm or her farm. And that's a huge problem. So what we're trying to work on is actually the, looking at the chemicals within the surfaces, these ropes, and how we can bind these chemicals that we have found to the rope to actually not just settle the mu muscles onto the rope but retain them there to give them a signal, okay, this is a good environment, stay here, don't leave. Dr. Alfaro has also been identifying and using probiotics or good bacteria to help improve the growth of abalone, known locally as power. Power uh, need about five years minimum for them to actually be the size that we can export or to reach the, the market. So anything that we can do to, to enhance that production is very profitable for the industry. So one of the things we've done is we've looked at power that are fast growing, dissect them, open them up, and take in swipe, swipes of the gut content and isolated bacteria that are called probiotics so that actually enhance or increase the ability for the power to um, metabolize the food and therefore feed better and grow faster. There's huge scope for us to work with this bacterium or other bacteria to try to improve the growth of power, which would be a significant increase in our ability to produce power in the international markets.